Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a first impression review on the new Wet n Wild products. Well, they're still pretty new, um, but this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus line, and they have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I'm in the shade 379C Mahogany. Um, and then I got the Photo Focus Concealer, and this is in, what is this in? I don't know, but this is what the shade I got looks like. And then I also got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder, and I got this in the shade 828 Cocoa. So yeah, I'm excited. I was waiting for Wet n Wild to come out with their freaking foundations for so long. So yeah, this is the darkest shade I believe that I've seen when I picked it up. This was the darkest shade. They had about eight or nine shades. Um, I was going to order it online, but I did pick mine up from Walgreens, and I believe the foundation retail for $5.99. I did pick it up from Walgreens, like I said. Um, so yeah, I will leave all the for sure prices and everything on the um, screen, but I don't have any makeup on. All I literally have on, on my brows, and I do did get some um, lash extensions today, but that will be for another video. So yeah, when I open up the tube, it does come with like a little spatula. I'm just gonna okay it's super actually lightweight it's not like really thick at all and one dip in it almost covered my entire face but I'm just gonna pretty much put this ah! what the F? okay so that's already a con I don't like messing up my freaking clothes okay so it is liquidy so you do have to be careful if you're gonna apply it with the sponge because it can get kind of messy and I'm going to take my um, elf powder brush and pretty much just blend it out okay so the first thing I'm noticing is that it is a little bit it does look a little bit orange so hopefully as we set it with everything it will tone down the orangeness a little bit and hopefully it doesn't oxidize and get even more worse than this. Hopefully it actually will end up matching. But this is um, the coverage. I definitely would say it's about medium coverage. Um, it gave me a pretty even surface. I don't have a ton, a ton of blemishes. So, um, I mean, I'm sure you could probably blend it up. Let me try to put just a little bit more over here and see if the coverage is buildable. But it's very easy to blend. Um, definitely have to give it that gotta be careful I don't want to get it on my lashes okay so this is the coverage with a little bit more of a layer so I think it actually does give pretty decent um, medium coverage so yeah that's pretty much all I really need medium to full coverage it's not a lightweight but it's not super duper duper full coverage either so yeah that's pretty much what it looks like um it's not really a matte finish so next is this concealer and this is again the same thing this is just the photo focus concealer oh wow i'm so slow this is in the shade 845 dark dark cocoa um i love concealers that are packaged like this it reminds me a lot of the nars um creamy radiant concealer and also the um Maybelline Fit Me. It comes with just a simple doe foot applicator like this. So let's see. Okay. It applies kind of like the um, Maybelline Better Skin, but it's a little bit more creamy. I just wish that it would come with a little bit comes a little bit more product out. It applies pretty evenly. Um, super. It, it's going on, gliding on really nicely. Super creamy, and it seems like it's going to give some pretty decent coverage actually. Alright, so it does blend out pretty well, and it's actually, this is actually the perfect highlighting shade for me. It brightened me up really nicely, it applies really evenly, it's not blotchy, it's not cakey, it's not too thick. So, I actually am super impressed by how both of these are applying. This is how it looks. And then, once that's good and blended, make sure you blend out those harsh lines. 
So then the next, the last product that I'm going to be trying is the pressed powder. So, oh, and this retailed I think for $4.99. I believe the concealer was $3.99. So I got all three of these products for under $15 or about $15, which is not bad at all because like I said, you can get a drugstore foundation nowadays for almost uh, $15 alone, $10, $15 by itself. you guys this is actually a super beautiful finish like I love the powder um, a lot actually it gave me a really super duper pretty finish to my face it's a matte finish um, I really like it it's buttery I, I really like it like so far so good of course I don't know um, the stain powder but first impressions of this product um, I definitely would go ahead and give this a try I mean it's a beautiful finish. The, com the foundation has pretty good coverage. The concealer is a, um, has good coverage as well as a great brightening effect. And the powder is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's not drying at all. It is not a matte foundation, so I do believe that this foundation will be suitable for all skin types, actually, which is always a plus. Um, I know for people that don't have, who have normal skin or dry skin, it did not dry my face out. The powder is keeping my oil pretty controlled. I didn't put any primer on to help mattify me at all, so it did mattify me pretty well. So I'm actually super duper impressed. It's very affordable, and the shade selection is decent. Let let me know if you guys still love the product if you loved it at first what's going on um i love you guys so very much welcome to all of my new subscribers and make sure that if you are new please make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you are subscribed make sure your notifications are on you know youtube does not always want to notify people of your videos and i want to make sure that you guys are staying on cue with me even though i may not stick with my schedule i've been trying to be very very consistent for you guys so make sure you guys stay subscribed and welcome to everybody that is new to my channel i love you guys so very much and i'll see you guys in my next video